presence of my enemies. I don't care if it's his father's dead. I don't care if his granddaddy's dead. Find me somebody from my enemy's house so that they can see how far I've come. I feel God in here. You ought to grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, my table is being prepared for me. I don't know who's coming, but as long as the folk who said I would never have nothing get there, I'll be all right. Clap your hands and give God a break. He says, I need somebody from Jonathan, from Saul's house. Glory to God. David says, is there any left in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? Saul hated me, but his son loved me. And so I'll bless my enemy's house because my child, my son, my enemy's child had love for me. That's when you know you've grown in the spirit and you have matriculated in the Holy Ghost. When you know how to bless people who don't necessarily deserve it, they should be paying for what they mama and daddy did to you. But because you are so blessed, you got enough blessings to spread abroad. And I come to prophesy to about five of y'all in here. God's getting ready to give you the ability to bless those that cursed you, to bless those that didn't want to see you get nowhere, to bless those that said you would never make it, you couldn't take it. I dare somebody in here to shout at the top of your lungs like you believe it in here. The Bible declares, I'm getting to my subject. The Bible declares, David says, is there anybody left in the house of Saul that I may show kindness to Jonathan's sake? And there was of the house of Saul one of the servants by the name of Ziba. And Ziba says to David, there is a young man by the name of Mephibosheth. Your friend Joshua and your friend Jonathan had a son some years ago. Can I preach like I feel it in here? She said, your son, your friend Jonathan had a son some years ago. And when they found out that his father and his grandfather died, the handmaiden dropped him running in haste. David says, go and get Mephibosheth. Where is Mephibosheth? What kind of a name is Mephibosheth? Y'all don't hear me in here. I can imagine him asking the question, what in the world is a Mephibosheth? The name means from the mouth of shame. Y'all don't hear me in here. He says, go and get the shamed one. He's lame on his feet. And he's embarrassed. Y'all don't hear me in here. Go and get the shamed one. Is there anybody in here that has ever felt shame? That has ever been embarrassed? Embarrassed on Facebook. Embarrassed on Twitter. Embarrassed on Instagram. They dragged your name in the mud. The old songs used to say, there's always somebody talking about me. Really, I don't mind. I feel God in here. They said, I've been talked about. I've been mistreated. I've been puked and scored. Talked about as sure as I'm born. Yeah. I feel them in here. They said, go and get the fitness chef. Who are you? I'm the son of Jonathan, the grandson of Saul. And while I'm here, I'm afraid of you. Where is he at? Zyber says, well, Mephibosheth, he's not in Jerusalem. He's not in Canaan. But he's in Lodibar. And the word Lodibar means no word. No communication. He's in an empty place. He's in a dry place. 
Jesus. And I come to tell about two of y'all over there. I don't care how dry your season is. The Lord sent me all the way from Brooklyn to tell you there's water in the desert. There's fruit on the fire. Y'all don't hear me in here. I said there's water in the desert. And there's fruit on the fire. Glory to God. So Mephibosheth.